All right, guys, so this is the WSP Stinger. Basically, it's a baby swarm, or as I like to call it, the mini Uzi. This thing, it's an absolutely ridiculous fully automatic pistol that can melt anything you throw at it. It does have a few drawbacks like the small magazine and not too much range. But if you're up close and you have this thing maxed out, there's nothing that will stand in its way. But I see a lot of people using this in a Kimbo and I don't have anything against that. It's, it's actually a great choice because you have double the ammo and everything. But in single weapon, just like the WSP Swarm, this thing excels even more because it has bigger range damage. And of course, it shoots even faster. So today we're going to use this in tier 3 and test it out properly. In tier 1, without any pack-a-punch or anything, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Like, it has absolutely no issues. As I said, one of the biggest drawbacks of this weapon is going to be the ammo count. But mags of holding will make this insane. But we're not going to use that just yet. What I'm going to use, though, it's going to be a legendary tool and a pack to crystal, because why not? And I do have an Elder Sigil, which we might use a bit later. But right now, we're going to go straight to Tier 3. We're not going to wait in Tier 2 any longer. And uh, I really want to show you how powerful this weapon is in single mode, not in Akimbo. In Akimbo, as I said, it's, it's pretty great and everything. And you have more ammo and stuff like that. But in single, it's even better. And I think this is the right way to use this weapon. And when using Speed Cola, the reload is actually not bad. It's, it's pretty fast. Like, you can get back in the fight instantly. And let me tell you guys, the tax stance of this weapon... It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, there's no spread, there's no nothing. It, it's just perfectly accurate. So, the loadout is going to be on the screen right now for everybody to use. And without any further ado, let's just hop into Tier 3 and see what this bad boy can do. Alright, so I managed to get a HVT contract in Tier 3. It's going to be a Mimic. Not my favorite uh, HVT in the game. But it's fine. It's fine. We can definitely do this. I'm going to jump outside because I don't want to fight that guy inside. The mimics are pretty ruthless, and uh, as you can see, this absolutely shreds zombies, even a pap do. Like, hit those critical spots, and they're gone. It really feels way better than most of the weapons with pap 3 and legendary, which is pretty insane. And look at that damage. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. We do have brain rot, and we do know that mimics are, are a bit weak to brain rot, but nonetheless, this thing is just mental. And look at the movement. The movement is another thing that I really, really enjoy with this gun. It's basically like you're, you're almost normally walking without ADSing. We get that shot, that perception, a pap one crystal. I might just use that wonder off with that pap one crystal a bit later, but we'll see. And I do have the mags of holding as well, but we're gonna keep that for later. And I think we need one more contract so we can uh, we can pack a bunch of three. But I do want to find a normal mega abomination. So I can I can test this weapon even more on tap 2. I mean, even against armored zombies, like, there's absolutely no issues for this gun. Like, literally. No issues whatsoever. You know, the circuit right there. We don't have a mega abomination, unfortunately. But we're going to go hunting for, for one. So let's keep it going. Okay, so our boy Mega Abomination actually spawned in as I was running away, and this zombie apparently is moonwalking. Interesting. Okay, but how about you show me those teeth? There we go. I mean, just look at that damage. Oh no, there's a there's a mimic here. Anything but mimics. They always win the fun. It, it's it's ridiculous. Like I'm telling you, there's guns. That won't do this much damage, even a top 3 legendary. Dude, that mimic. Stop it! Okay, thank you for actually throwing... Never mind. Uh, I got hit by like 3,000 meters away. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna throw this down. So we can... Uh, we can have a bit of a break. There we go. And now let's finish this fight against the Mega Abomination. Because these mimics are extremely rude, man. Like, extremely rude. I know I have my termites, but I really don't want to use the termites. Okay, maybe just now, so I can end this a bit faster. There we go. All of that for blue tool. Look at the damage. It's just ridiculous. And also, surprisingly, it does have a pretty good reserve ammo. I think it's around 640 reserve Plus the ones you have in the mag, that's like 700 in total. Which is not bad, if you ask me. It's not bad at all. 
All right, but I'm going to do another contracting here so I can get that pack a punch three money. And uh, I'll see you guys when we pack a punch. All right, guys, we have enough money to pack a punch to level three right now. There we have it. And now let's just watch zombies melt. Look at that. It's like two shots for the normal and three shots for the for the armored zombies. Which, if you ask me, it's it's actually pretty great. And let's see if there's Mr. Mega Abomination at the entrance right there. Okay, so even better, we managed to get an HVT Mega Abomination to test this weapon even better. And here's the big fellow. First head already off, like it's it's pretty much instant. Has absolutely no issues. Lasers again. And just look at that chunk of health disappearing. There is a Mr. Disciple, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really want to use my uh, my termites on this. As you can see, the ammo, it's a bit of a limitation. But if you, if you play this right, it's not going to have be any issues. Look at that. Two epic tools and a pap one crystal. And then the rift to get stamina up, cryo freeze, and tombstone recipe. Actually, not a bad reward. Not a bad reward at all. I, ju I just really enjoyed this weapon. I know in a Kimbo you get more ammo and so on. And I totally understand why you guys use it like that. But the extra fire rate and extra range is so, so welcome. On this gun. Because if I'm not mistaken, the Akimbo mode actually reduces the range by 40%. Which is actually quite a bit. And reduces the fire rate by another 25%. So that is uh, something that you should consider. And there's a very nice box up here, which I do want to try out because you never know when you get that legendary tool. It's a Casimir. I'll take that. Anyways, another HVD right here. We're going to test this out using the amazing Mag of Holding because we do have this with us as well. And after that, I think it's time for us to go to uh, the Dark Ether. Actually, this guy is going to snag the HVD from me. But fear not, because there is a Mr. Mega Abomination here. Goddamn, there's so many zombies. And, well, with Mags of Holding, you, should, you can just hold Mouse 1 and watch everything die. It's insane how good the, the attack stance is. It's just ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, no. Oh, no, the Disciple buffed the Mega. That's something you don't want to see. That's something you don't want to see. I hate disciples nowadays. Jesus. You are super annoying right now. <laughs> you know that? Okay, okay, okay. I know you're pissed. I'm pissed as well. Okay. We're not going to do a lot of damage. I mean, we're going to do a lot of damage. But... Whenever he's buffed and he doesn't have a head, you can most of the time take him down with one termite. But apparently that didn't work. Okay, let's clear the zombies around. I want to get rid of this dude. There we go. Oh my god, these zombies are brutal. Okay. And he got buffed again, but look at the damage we're doing now. Look at the damage, it's insane. Alright buddy, open that mouth, Jesus. You are really mad right now. And you're really dead as well. Mental. Mr. Mangler, absolutely no issues. There's not a big, big difference between PAP 2 and PAP 3 with this weapon. Just because it's so freaking good, even a PAP 2. But, of course, if you have the chance to PAP 3, just go for it. Alright, I guess I can buy some self-revives. And we're ready to go Elder Sigil. Alright, so I'll see you guys there. Alright, so we made it to the Elder Dark Ether. It's been a while since I've actually been here. I usually do the normal Sigil, because I have a bit more time. And we did get the Mega Abomination HVT, which is very nice. Of course, for this guy, I'm just going to use my Juggernaut suit. It's just a tiny bit easier like that. But as you can see, this thing shreds through zombies. 
Of course, his range is not going to be that insane. But up close, ooh, up close, it does have no issues. Like, look at that. It's just melting everything. So good. And it's so much fun to use. Especially that, like, insane movement and stuff. Let's see if we can break the first hit, like, super fast. Alright, bud. How about you show me those those teeth? Look at that damage. Alright, we broke the head. Now we're gonna use this, because we're getting swarmed by zombies. I absolutely love fighting an HVT in this fog area. I know you can bring him outside and stuff, but it's just so much, so much cooler in here. And there we go. He's pretty much dead. Let's go. Awesome. And what did he drop on the ground? Pretty much nothing. Take down some of these zombies. And blood burner, VR11 plants. No, thank you. I shall pass on that. I'm not a huge fan of those. But you know what? Let's go for Outlast. I do have the Wonder Off as well. That's going to help me a bit with the Outlast. But we're not going to use it too much. Let's go for, for it. Okay, here we are. Outlast contract starting right now. You can definitely see the difference between the Elder Sigil and the normal Sigil. Like, the zombies have so much more health than a normal one. It's definitely a, a much bigger challenge. Oof. <laughs> oh my god, they just... They're just so freaking fast. But you know what? This is why I brought this. The one Ruff only needs PAP 1. Such an amazing weapon. I absolutely love this thing. Absolutely love this thing. Of course, a lot of people are gonna go with the Scorcher because you can fly around the map and everything. But strictly for killing zombies, I've always said it, I prefer the Wonder Off every day. Okay, let's try not to get cornered right here. You can definitely see the damage dropping at range. But while using the akimbo, it's even worse. So this is why I kind of prefer to, to use this. The normal. This, very nice. Shoot this once and then kill everything around me. Such a fun contract. And there's a nuke. Awesome. Mr. Mangler, never mind. I turned him. Let's go. Yeah, without Max of Holding, you will not be able to, to use this weapon very well in the Dark Aether. Oh my god, that hurt. Alright, there we go. Done. And we get Max of Holding. You know what? I'll take that. That's kind of the main reason I came in here. For the Max of Holding. But now let's go for the... Let's go for the Extractors. Alright, here we go. Luckily, I got a bunch of Casmirs with me. So this is definitely going to help me a bit. Although I absolutely hate the fact that dogs don't get sucked into the Casimir. So annoying. Throw another one right back here. There we go. And we go for the extractor. Awesome. Let's equip another two. Throw it back here. Very nice. And there we go. That's contract. This thing is so easy. When you have the Casmirs with you, it's just so much easier. And uh, another freaking VR11. No thanks. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, okay. I, I thought I could... Look how many dogs are here. I thought I can go... In between those those crystals but apparently i cannot there's so many zombies spawning on this contract it's absolutely insane okay you know what i think i have time to go for the infested stronghold let's do the infested stronghold as well yeah i haven't done one in the elder sigil maybe we actually get something decent i'm not gonna bore you guys with the whole thing so i'm just gonna skip right to the to the rewards because why not i think it's more entertaining for you like that than to just see me suffer searching for, for cysts. And there we have it. Infested Stronghold complete. Actually, it took us like three minutes. It's not bad. 
That was actually pretty darn fast. Okay, let's see. Do we get anything decent in this thing or not? With how I know my luck, we're not gonna get anything. But you never know. That's a Casimir. That's some Essence. Okay, uh, I gotta clear some of these guys first. I did find a Pab 2 Crystal randomly sitting on the floor somewhere, which was quite unexpected if you ask me. I haven't seen one of those in like the infested strongholds in a while. But let's continue. Okay, nothing good there. Two epic tools again. I'm not picking up the epic tools. It's just a waste of time. Let's open the one on top. More essence. Man, this is some baloney. This is some baloney loot. There's only five chests. Three there, one here. One here. Yeah, only five chests. Well, that was disappointing. That was totally not worth it. But you know what? We done it. Just so we can say we done it. Let's just get the hell out of here now. But that was a pretty fun run. So if you guys enjoyed this weapon, let me know how you use it. Let me know if you prefer Kimbo or not. And uh, yeah. Make sure you smash the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.